In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to clean the surface burner of your stove top. Now, when you look at this stove top right here, you're probably thinking that I'm talking about this right here because you look and you go, oh my goodness, that is so dirty. And I'm definitely gonna clean this. It's definitely time for a clean, but I'm not talking about this. This is the grate. I am talking about this part right under here. Now, often part that can get really black with burnt on food and grease, and it can be really difficult to clean. So I'm gonna show you how to take it off and also how to clean it really well. But first, if you're new to Clean Freak and Dermaphobe, we love to give cleaning tips and hacks, so make sure to hit subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future uploads. But for now, let's get this clean. Once it's unscrewed, you just pop it off. Look at that. And then we're gonna just walk it right over to the sink. And the one ingredient that you need to clean these is, it is easy off. Yes, I know this is normally for inside the oven, but this is an incredibly powerful degreaser. It does an amazing job getting on burnt on food which is exactly what we are dealing with here. Now I have tried different products. I've tried less strong products. I've tried all natural products. And to be honest, I mean, this is a tough, tough job. I'm not expecting to be able to get everything in there. That's not really where I see the mess anyways. What I really wanna get is this out here. I have heard people say that the non-fume-free version cleans a little bit better. Whether or not that's true or not, I stick with the fume-free because the other version, the non-fume-free version is really strong. It's too strong for me. To me, it's worth it to scrub just a little bit more to have less fumes to have to inhale. So what you wanna do is just generously spray this on. Don't hold back. This isn't the time to skimp. Get every part of this covered. So after I've sprayed this on generously, then I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes. Now that this has had a chance to sit, I'm gonna grab myself some steel wool. Definitely wear gloves when you're using Easy Off and definitely, definitely wear gloves when you're using steel wool. It can cut your skin when you're pushing really hard, so just be careful of that. I'm also gonna use a toothbrush to get into those deep grooves. Now, I know my camera is a little bit out of focus. I'm sorry about that, but you get the idea of what I'm doing. So this is how they look after being all rinsed off. This one right here, I already showed you, but you can see how much better these look than they did before. And with relatively little scrubbing, you saw what I did with that first one right there. Here is the burner that I use all the time. Do you guys have a favorite burner that you use most of the time? Let me know in the comment section below, but this is the one that I use all the time. So this was clearly the thickest, most baked on burner. It still has some trouble areas there. So I'm actually gonna re apply the easy off and let it sit and go at this again because I think I can get this just a little bit cleaner but as for you I hope that you enjoyed this video hey if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up make sure to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell and share this video with anybody that you think would like it as well up next time I'm going to share my video of the greasiest stove top I have ever seen it belonged to an elderly gentleman who had not cleaned it in 13 years and it turned out amazing so I'm going to link to that right here just click on that button right there. We'll see you over there.